Uh, okay, so we're here at the Tiger Boss in ZG. We've got this gear, which is pretty good, Phase 2 gear. We have a pretty standard combat talent specialization with close quarters combat and some points over here in assassination. Our glyphs are fan, faint, and killing spree. These really are not important for the tiger boss, but what is important is make sure we put wound poison on one of our weapons. Big pog damage. Right there and there. And then we're going to do a bunch of consumable buffs. Rune scroll of fortitude, uh, drums of forgotten kings, drums of the wild, scroll of agility, blackened dragonfin. Not all of these are necessary, but they certainly make it easier. Crateria coming in with a tier one sub. Five months of support. Thank you very much, Crateria says. Good luck, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're gonna get the Tiger Mount today, trust. Okay. Now you wanna set focus on Lorcan. And then we have a focus kick macro. So my kick will target my focus. This makes it easy for me to interrupt Lorcan's spells because she's gonna cast some healing abilities that uh, we don't want to have them happen. So now we're just going to roll up. Cheap shot, adrenaline rush, blade, flurry, evasion. Now we spam some fan of knives. These three enemies, we've got to kill them uh, together because they will resurrect each other. And we also want to make sure we hit High Priest Thekel last to refresh that wound poison time. I might have actually screwed that up. Okay. Nope, we got it right. See, because we had wound poison on him, he uh, resurrected with half health instead of full health. That's really important for making this encounter easier. There we go. Uh, but if you didn't uh, refresh the wound poison debuff, right before he dies, it might fade before he resurrects. Uh, okay. That's, uh, that's it. I mean, it's, with Ulduar gear level and a combat spec, it's pretty easy. You can do this successfully with, like, an assassination blade flurry spec, where it's, like, 45 points assassination, 21 combat, 5 subtlety. That spec will get it done, too. You might still struggle if you're running a standard Hunger for Blood assassination build, uh, as this is still a little difficult, the power of Blade Flurry and Adrenaline Rush in particular are, are quite good for bursting a boss down like this. Now, let's, without further ado, let's see if we got this mount. Uh, we got 16% Believers, 84% Doubters on the prediction. We're going to end the submission here. Check the boss. Oh, I looted stuff. Sea Fury leggings, Primal Akari bindings, Seal the Gurubashi Berserker, Sea Fury. Ah, okay, no, no mount. 